Oh my god, I must have got attacked by some damn Smurfs in the middle of the night. What the hell's going on here? Son of a bitch. Brilliant blue gloss. Well, we all know um, that I forgot to unplug my welder. We all know that the Duro Max engines are blue. So why not? What a difference. Man, what a difference. So, I still have my buddy sticker on the front. I got a blue one on there now that matches the blue perfect. So I got my, you know, Adrenaline Rush sticker on the front. Looks awesome. And I sent a message to... Uh, Duromax to see if they can send me a sticker so I can make the back end look like this. Since they're the large donator of a brand new engine. So, um, yeah, I kind of like the blue. I like the blue. I was thinking about painting the rims blue, but it's just too much blue. You don't want to over blue it. And then I, I had a blue stripe up the seat. And it didn't look right. You know, you got like a dual contour. You got a contour this way and a contour this way. And the line never looks straight. They never do. So, that's why my floor is blue. But this will wear away over time. That's just surface. So, you can see it's coming off. Throw a little dirt on it. Vacuum it up. It's done. So, I only came out just for a little while to, to weld on the throttle cable. So, I just flipped on its side. And weld up the throttle cable mounts. And then the pedal wasn't releasing good. And the, it started doing this crap on me. So I went back to my scrap box. Thank God. And I put a whole new throttle on it. From the front to about midpoint. Right about in there. You know. And then of course, you know, I had to put the sticker on the back seat. Just to warn people, you know parts to come flying off here's the old orange adrenaline sticker that didn't quite seem to look right on here but now the blue is just it's just like magic on the front i love it so that worked out perfect thank god he gave me a bunch of colors so so yeah that's where we're at now um the seller emailed me and said the hydraulic brakes he sent out so I should get down like the 27th and the engine on the 24th. So, yeah, there's going to be, you know. Anyways, it'll be done this month. So, you know, I got to go through and retighten everything and blah, blah, blah. And whoopie do and la-di-da. -di get overspray off stuff. Like I got a little overspray in the axle. I'll just, you know, hit it with some gum out. Cleans it right off. And, uh, yeah, so I think it came out pretty cool. Little by little, we're... Tweaking the details that I didn't like before. So, smacking my wife's car with the wing, which I almost did earlier. I'll put her back in her blue spot. And it can sit here all nice and safe. Even painted the steering blue. So when you turn it, she's a blue, blue, blue. Didn't want to spray the footrest. You know, you need a little something to break the color up. But, well... I'll probably have to grind some of this blue off over here. And this all has to come apart anyway. So if I get some blue on a tire, on an axle, I'm not worried about it. Because it's all got to come apart. So I can clean it, repaint it. It doesn't matter. So I did the framework up the back of the seat. And uh, all underneath the wing. But, yeah. So it's going to just sit here now and, and hang out. And I'll get this up out of the way so I don't hang myself, which I usually do. And if you're wondering what these things are, if you've never seen them before, these go on your flagpole on the bottom of your flag. And this holds the flag from flapping away. I bought them for my flagpole until I decided just to make square frames and screw the flag to the frames. But, boy, I like that blue now. Damn. So when I get done with this thing, and I get everything all perfected and done with it, um, too bad... Duramax doesn't have like a museum or something because I would just 
have them just pick it up and go out and beat the hell out of it and have fun and park it in their showroom. I mean, I don't think it's like, to me, it's not that fancy. You know, I mean, I'm, I could fabricate anything, but I don't have a CNC cutter like some people have. I mean, you know, water jet. I don't have any of that crap. You know what I mean? I just, I got the basic stuff. I'm not that big yet. Once I get bigger on YouTube, you know, then I've got the room to expand over to the other side. This thing's cleaning away. Then I got the room to put something over here if I wanted to, you know. But anyways, I gotta take a water in. That's right, we're getting low in the house. So usually what I do when I get thirsty, I just rip one out of here and just take one when I'm out in the garage, but I gotta use my strong hand. So I'll put this by the door so I don't forget. And that's it. So that's what I accomplished today. I really like this color of blue. Brilliant blue. That is awesome. I like that. Wow, you should really see it over here. Look at the shine on that. Look at the shiny on my hiney. My mother used to say that. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, everybody. That's it. Thought I'd just bring up the date. And let me know. What do you think with this color change of blue? You know? Once the engine gets on there, there's going to be some blue and black. So it's going to kind of balance it out. So it's not going to be like you got punched in the face by a Smurf. You know what I mean? But I sent pictures to Mr. Black at Duramax. And asked if he could get me a Duramax sticker for here. Because that would be perfect. And let's see, I'd face the sticker probably this way. Face it back ways. You know, this way when you walk by it, you can see it. But, I mean, nobody, you know, I don't know. But, all right. I have got to run to the store. Because I have to get donuts for tomorrow. And I just bonked my head on something. Oh, the ratchet. That's nice. No matter what you do with something, you're always going to hit your freaking head. That's what happens when you're nine feet tall. All right, everybody. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye, puppy.